sensations you feel just warming up so you're probably a little stiff but you're going to start getting warmer if thoughts come into your mind recognize them but then release them and stay with your breath try and stay present in the moment on your mat and slowly release nice and slow let your fingers tent on the earth Take a nice deep breath in and then let out a nice sigh. <sighs> One more. <sighs> and then you can bring your um, left hand on your head and just a nice, slight little tilt. Walk your right arm out. You're going to have your head, head just tilted with no um, left arm on it. Whatever feels nice, you're gonna feel stretched on the side of your neck. If it starts to hurt, don't do it. You can always come out of this pose and just sit with your hands on your knees. <clears throat> breathe, breathe into the sensation. Imagine your breath is a color, maybe you a blue, I love blue, like sky blue, or maybe you like a lighter color. Just pick, push that color into the sensation. So breathe into your neck. <clears throat> Release your left arm slowly. Bring your head um, back to central, neutral zone. Just do two breaths in and out here with the side if you'd like. <sighs> and now bring your hands to the back of your head. Yeah. Drink too much kombucha before I did this class. <laughs> anyway, so uh, <laughs> um, you're gonna look up. So it's gonna be upper back stretch. You um, push your elbows um, a little bit back, but not your lower back. Just your upper back. You can look up to where the ceiling meets the wall. You can close your eyes. I'm using your core to hold yourself up. Maybe firing up a little bit. Your body's getting warmer. You tilt to the right side, look up, or keep your head um, neutral. If it hurts, don't do it. You can always release your hands and just do this. On your next inhale, come up to center. And then release to the left side. <sighs> Higher power is always watching you and looking out for you. Know that you are supported also by the group. Your yoga mat and the earth is always going to be there for you. Breathe in. And then you can bring your arms up, look up. And then slowly, as if you're pushing the air down, there's a tension in the air, just press it with your hands, warm your hands up, keep them nice and active. And tent your fingers and close your eyes or have a soft gaze. Hmm. You are worth recovery. You are worth happiness. You deserve all the good things in life. Just keep doing the next right thing. Taking care of yourself and your neighbors during this time. We're going to um, come into deer pose. Um, this is a, a little hip opener. It's uh, gentle. Um, so you have your left leg parallel with your mat. And then your um, right knee is going to be bent. You can be um, far back. You can be close. So your left foot is on your right knee. <clears throat> Whatever is comfortable. Um, and then you're going to look over your left knee, nice and um, tall, straight. Almost like you're squaring up over this leg. And then slowly come down. You can put a pillow under your head here, or you can um, use your fists. If you want to come to the ground, just have your torso um, laying right on top of your um, leg. Surrender to the pose. Feel the earth beneath you. 
How do you feel in this pose? Do you feel safe, rounded? Feel your feelings. It's tough sometimes, but it feels good to feel. You feel happiness, sadness, all the things in between. Maybe peace. And always breathing. If your head's on one side, switch it to the other so you get a nice even stretch in your neck. When you're ready, you can slowly come up. Keep your chin tucked. Go slow. Let your head be the last thing that comes up. Take a nice deep breath in and out. And slowly move to the other side. Take your time. The most injuries in yoga happen in transition. So when you're going from pose to pose, always be mindful of how fast you're going and where you're moving to. So your right leg will be in front and then your left knee can be touching your right foot. That fits like that. Or you can have it um, farther behind. That will give you a deeper stretch right here. Um, so you're going to want to look over your shoulder or your uh, right knee. Take some deep breaths in, maybe two in and um, on your last exhale, just surrender to the pose, walk yourself down. This side might be different feeling than the other, just, just notice it. Yoga you know, that allows us to be in our bodies and be present and become more aware of where we are in, our, in space and time and our heart and our head and our spirit, we get more connected with our higher power. I feel more connected with the earth always, even if I'm not on um, like grass or dirt. <laughs> Surrender. This is our last class in March, and we were doing the third step and the third step I know for me is very important and necessary and you know, to release myself from myself. <laughs> Such a funny idea. Sometimes I think about it like that, like I'm my biggest problem and I just need to get out of my own way, ask for help, pray, do yoga, stay connected my other alcoholics and other people that are just recovering from life we need to support each other during this time and in general support each other whether there's a pandemic or not so take one last deep breath in and out here and the exhale come up slowly your head's the last thing to fully come up I'm looking over that right knee nice and tall you know if your eyes closed or have um, a soft gaze and slowly release. Nice little shake. And then just wiggle around, get your um, sit bow nice and nice and uh, grounded and kind of even, Stephen here. Oh, excuse me. So we're gonna look over um, your left knee. I'm gonna my left knee first. It's similar to the deer, but we're just gonna get a little bit of a deeper stretch, and um, you can do this as a heart opener. So you can come down and look up with your hand on your lower back. This hand can be on the floor. It could be holding onto your big toe. You can bring this arm up, looking at the higher power. This is a, a firing up your core and your back. How do you feel? You have your knees bent, you have one leg bent. If the heart opening doesn't feel good, you can come, come down and um, 
your forehead near your knee, use your hands like this, or just if you look at your toes maybe, and surrender completely, just let everything go. Anything you're holding on to, just let it go. If emotions come up, which they probably will when you're moving, the issues stay in our tissues. Um, it's okay to cry during yoga. It's okay to be sad during yoga. It's okay to be joyous. It's, um, yoga just, it, yoga is the best. Everyone just needs to do more yoga. <laughs> Look up. And then we're going to slowly come up. And you're going to come so your arms are out. And look up. Have a slight um, arch in your upper back. Take two breaths in and out of here, using your core to hold you up. Your core can be also your community, your higher power, your sponsor, your friends, your family. You're supported. And then you come to the other side, you have your knees bent. This side might feel different, maybe tighter, looser. Just um, see how you're feeling here. Hold on to the big toe. You have a heart opener. Um, put your hand on your lower back. I like that one, it feels nice. You have your toes flexed. Um, that makes your leg say activated, um, strengthening. Sometimes it's the littlest movement that can change the pose. Mm. In life, every decision you make has a either a consequence or a reward or <clears throat> an outcome always. And we have the choice today to do the right thing or don't do the right things. Stay sober. Don't stay sober. Be connected, disconnect. You all have a choice. It's just what you choose to do with the freedom of that. Two more breaths and just let yourself surrender or maybe activate a little bit more. Pull your fingers apart. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze all your muscles. And then release, come up. <sighs> your eyes closed or a soft gaze. And bring your arms up above. Look up and into prayer and slowly come down. <sighs> this is how you feel after that pose. You're ready to roll your ankles and roll your wrists a little bit. Shake your legs out. <clears throat> All right, and then when you're ready, let's come to tabletop. However, you can get there. I kind of went fast, sorry, I should go slower. Um, so let's kick back into a child's pose just to um, kind of counter out those. The, um, arching we were just doing. So just let yourself sink into the mat. You can put a bolster um, between your knees and your thigh, or your um, calves and your thighs right here. Um, you have always a pillow by your head or um, a bolster you can hug. This is a pose you can always come back to. The grounding pose. It's a, um, it's a pose that makes me personally feel safe and um, protected. This pose is great if you have um, stomach issues. If you sit in this pose for five minutes, your digestion will improve. This pose lowers your heart rate, which is good if you have anxiety. Remember, if you're, if you're in a, um, having a hard day and you get home and you just can't shake you know, whatever you're carrying with you, it's a great pose just to start on your mat. You're on your mat, you're doing yoga, you're breathing, you're doing yoga. When you're ready, come to tabletop. We're gonna come to downward dog. Um, so you're gonna have your hands. I like to have my hands nice and spread, my hair spread wide open. So I have as much of my body on the earth as I can. You're gonna tuck your toes and you're gonna lift your hips. 
kind of adjust and walk the dog. You tuck your chin as if you're looking at your belly button. So walk the dog out, pedal the feet. Situated in this pose. This is another pose you can always come back to. And then come to stillness. Tuck your chin. Look at your belly button and close your eyes. Pressing your heels down to the earth. Hips up into the air. Breathing. Allow your breath to let you go deeper into this pose, settle more into this pose. And then when you're ready, you can walk your feet to your hands, your hands to your feet or both at the same time and hang and ragdoll, knees bent, feet about hip width apart. And just sway side to side. Slowly with your breath. You can have your hands on the earth if that feels better. Hold your elbows, opposite elbows. You have your hands on your legs. But just, just surrender. Hang. You can shake your head yes and no. The choices we have today are much more abundant than when we were using and or we were in a codependent relationship we couldn't get out of. Could not make a choice for ourselves. I know I couldn't. <laughs> So slowly walk yourself up, slowly, one vertebrae at a time, your head's the last thing to come up. You come into your mountain pose. So feet can be hip width apart. I like to spread my toes so I can get all the earth underneath me as possible, the most sturdy. Bend your knees slightly. Um, so bring your hands to the side. Your arm, hands facing forward or close to you. You um, have prayer pose. You close your eyes or have a soft gaze. More interesting to look at. Something to focus on. Know that you're enough. You deserve all the happiness and love that's on this earth. Feel like you need to move a little bit, you can sway side to side. Um, just do a little twisting. Or you can stay still. I know my back is a little tweaked, so I'm just trying to get it out. And then come back to stillness. And you're gonna bring your hands up, up, up above, looking up, maybe your higher power, you can feel their energy. Is her, it, them, whatever it may be, it. Just look up. Bring your hands into steeple position. So your two um, pointer fingers, almost like a little Mission Impossible gun status there. Keep your shoulders loose, not up by your ears. Keep them loose and low. You can have your feet um, close together, touching or slightly apart. Um, we're coming to crescent. so. Um, I'm going to kick my left hips out and my right arm is going to, arm and left, <laughs> my arms are going to the right. I'm going to look up. You don't have to look up. You can look down or close your eyes. So we just want to get that nice stretch here and out here. The side stretch is wonderful. If it's ever too much, please come out of the pose and just stand in the mountain and breathe. Oh. Hmm. And then on your next exhale, come up. Let your hands just come down slowly. Feel the tension in the air almost like you're creating with the energy in your hands. Oh, your hands are gonna feel heavy or tingly. Just notice that. Have a slight bend in your knees. In your next inhale, your arms are going to come up again. You look up. Bring them together into steeple. 
and then um, we're gonna do the other side. So your right hip is gonna kick out and you're gonna push up your hips to the side and then your arms are gonna reach. You can look up, keep your elbow or uh, your shoulders loose, up by your ears. You're breathing, you can close your eyes. The soft gaze. Hmm. One more inhale and exhale here. And then inhale, and then your next exhale, you'll come up. Look up. And slowly come down to swan dive. So keep your knees bent. Slow. And then um, we're going to um, bend the knees just a slightly. And then you're going to come up. They say flat back, but your back is flat. So you can have your hands on your shins. You can just kind of come up like this, hands on the um, fingertips on the mat. Keep your knees bent though. And then on your exhale, release and just surrender. Almost ragdoll, you can wave side to side. You put your um, palms under your feet, and so you have like a little energy flow going. You bend your knees, bend them as much as you want to. I just love the feeling my hands under my feet feels really good. Do sensations you'll find in yoga. There's always, like I said before, there's always a different way to do a pose. Whether it's put your hands under your feet, or you can hold on to your um, big toes, the peace fingers, prana mudra. Hmm. Just feel the power you have inside of you. We are made of energy, and we can choose to use good energy or bad energy. But I feel like we attract what we put out, so I try to put out this energy. Hmm. Especially in these times when everything's so uncertain. And now we're going to walk our hands up. Once again, slow. Vertebrae at a time. The head's the last thing to come up. Your shoulders a little shake out. You can come up. All right, folks. We're going to um, bring your feet about your little like a V. Your toes are going to point out. <sighs> We're going to come into goddess. You have cactus arms. Keep your knees nice and bent. You can have your hands on your knees. You can sway side to side. This is a very active pose. Your legs are going to feel some heat. You can have a cup of stillness if you like. You can come side to side. I can hear the, well, I don't know if it's still raining, but we can hear the rain. I love that sound. It makes you feel peaceful and goddess-like. So just keep moving if you like that movement. You don't always have to stay stuck in a pose, stagnant. Mm, breathing through the sensations you might be feeling. Mm. Come to stillness for one breath in and one breath out. And your next breath in, come up to star pose and stretch, 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 everything, stretch. Breathe. You can look up, you can have your eyes closed, or just your eyes can be beaming up. And come and give yourself a hug, self love. You can kind of hang. Your lower back is hurting. You can um, keep your knees bent and kind of look side to side. Ooh. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can keep hugging yourself. You can come to the stillness and just kind of slowly come up. Your back's up so you're upright once again. Hmm. Feeling the heart opener. So let's do triangle. Um, so one foot, I'm going to start with my left foot will be pointing uh, straight ahead. My right foot will be pointing this away. So get the center here. And uh, there's a wall right here. So I was using a wall the other day. It felt so good. So if you want another support, you can use a wall. So triangle, um, let's bring our hands up to T. 
And um, I don't have my block, but if you need a prop, I would suggest it. Um, you come down, just have your arms in line. Um, <laughs> um, so you're gonna look up, hand up, you can have your hand on your lower back. I used to go all the way down, because I, I can, but it, it actually pinches your hip. So I learned, thank you Bonnie, that you don't have to go all the way down to get that feeling. This for me is more opening and it feels good. So I, li I like it here. You have a prop right there, like a, um, a block right here. Um, whatever makes you feel comfortable in the pose, please use any props or stop at any time for a different pose. <sighs> I like the lower back, hand on the lower back is good. <sighs> feel that opening of your heart. Be open to love and kindness and put it out there. We need that. So then you're going to slowly come looking over the front leg, which is my right. You're going to bring your back foot up about a foot. And then you're just going to surrender to your front leg and keep it bent. And then you're just going to pull. So come up, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Do two more of those at your own pace. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. And then slowly walk your hands. Go to the other side. So slowly walk over. Um, so position your feet for the next triangle. So your back foot will be pointing this way. Your right foot will be this way. And to come up, just use your hands slowly. And then we're gonna bring your arms to T. Your um, front foot should be in line with your back um, heel. So you're, so you're all, we're on that plane right there. Nice plane. And so you can look over your hand, um, and then slowly come down. But <laughs> just as you always have to. And then you can look up, you have your knee bent. Open up that heart, and the hips, that feel so good. Triangles are my favorite poses. Trikonasana. Oh. And if any time this hurts or it doesn't feel good, or you just want to rest, please come to child's pose or mountain or whatever pose makes you feel relaxed and just at peace. Reach, reach, reach. If you're reaching, you have your hand behind your back. Hmm. Always breathing. Breathe into the sensations you're feeling, breathe into your heart. Two more breaths here. And then on your last exhale, come over this leg, like we did on the other side, hands on either side of the upper foot, and hop your back foot up, uh -oh, another foot. And you can keep your front knee bent if you like. And we're just gonna do some um, pulse, pulse down, exhale down, and then inhale up. And straight, not flat back, but you know, a little bit more um, straight, I guess. And then exhale down, surrender. Inhale up. And surrender. Do two more at your own pace. Inhale up, exhale down. And then when you finish that breathing, you're gonna slowly come back to the center again. And you can come into a yogi squat. So this is, you can come down like this. I'm against the wall, so I'm more supportive, which feels really good. Um, you can have a, a block or a pillow under your bum. Um, you can have your elbows against your knees and your heart, hands in prayer mudra. And if you don't want to sit like that, you can sit right on the ground like this. <sighs> Have some gratitude for all those things you just did with your amazing bodies. <sighs> Notice how you're feeling right now. How do you feel now compared to when you first came to class? 
you don't know, you don't have to put a name on it. Just notice these things, accept them. And when you're ready, you can come seated. Um, just give your legs a little windshield wiper, move back and forth. And then we're going to come to our backs. So you're going to come down and slowly have your feet flat on the ground and have your hands underneath you and you push almost. So you're pushing your um, vertebrae down one vertebrae at a time, nice and slow. Ah, feels good, right? We're on the ground. Here we are. So let's do windshield wipers with the knees to loosen up the lower back. And then give yourself another hug. Put the knees in tight. Notice how it feels to give yourself a hug. Does it feel good? Does it feel strange? You just don't know. And you don't have to know. You can go circle in the ceilings with your knees. Give your lower back a massage. Switch directions. Back, back to front. And when you're ready, come to stillness. Have your feet on the ground. Flat. <laughs> Excuse me. And then um, put your right leg down flat. And then you're going to bring your left knee up into your chest. You're going to give your knee a hug. So I like to wrap my left arm around my knee, or the front arm, or my, my shin, excuse me. And then my right hand will clasp around my wrist. Just, you don't want to pull, but just give it a hug. And then breathe into that hip. Breathe into the leg that's straight. Every breath, you go deeper into the pose. <sighs> Sometimes I notice when I, do, when I do some deep breathing in a pose, all of a sudden, I'm, my, my knee's a different spot than it started. Um, the stretch has become deeper without me even knowing it. It's just my breath and my body loosening and surrendering more to the pose than I'm not. Not thinking about it. <laughs> it's like a huge thing, just letting it happen through my breath. Hmm. Smiling, I like smiling during yoga. Makes everything better. Hmm. You can just smile and be peaceful. And slowly bring your leg um, either straight. I can't always, I mean, straight, it's not possible. So a slight bend.
and your feet flexed or pointed. It feels nice. And breathe into those sensations, each breath going deeper into the pose. Be in your body, be present. Anything you have on your mind, just let it go for now. Hmm. When you're ready, slowly straighten your right leg or bring it up, give me slightly bent. And then you hold on to the back of your thigh or your shin, or as you your ginger, a uh, calf. So we're gonna breathe and when you breathe up, pull your leg towards you. Don't pull hard, just let the weight of your arms pull. And then exhale down. Inhale up. And exhale down. Inhale up, and exhale down. Do two more at your own pace. Inhale up. When you finish those last two, allow your hands to come to the earth flat, right by your body. And I like to have my um, foot activated for this part, so flex. And slowly, as slowly as you can, let your leg come down. You're using your core. Press your hands into the earth. Slow, like your leg's getting five inches longer. It's amazing. Hmm. Hmm. Just lay down and feel the earth. How does your body feel now? Hmm. Is there any last movements you want to make before Shavasana? Roll, roll with your knees, your lower back. Shavasana, you can lay on your back, maybe bolster on your um, knees. Um, you can lay on your belly, um, you get a blanket, Daniel likes a little eye pillow, so I'm going to put an eye pillow on his head. <laughs> Daniel, something. Sure. I don't look like it. So we've, we've done a discussion. We did meditation, we did movement yoga, asana. <sighs> Come back into your breath and have gratitude for yourself and for yoga and your higher power if you have one. If you don't, that's fine. Come back to your breath. Where we started the class, maybe breathing in for three, holding for one, exhaling for three or four. Please open up your belly, expanding the belly. Hold. Let it out. Your next inhale and exhale. Let your exhale be a nice audible sigh. Anything go, it still might be attached to you right now. Just let it go. Be present on your mat. Be grateful. Know that you're supported by the group. Maybe um, you're in AA or NA or whatever. Those people are always there for you. There's a lot of different meetings um, going on um, through Zoom and um, take advantage of what you can and well, there's always more tools than meetings. There's for me yoga, a meditation, a walk, call your sponsor, call a friend, family member, try and stay connected. Hmm. Imagine your favorite place, the most peaceful place you've ever been, or the most beautiful place you've ever been. Imagine it in your mind's eye. Maybe you see yourself 
as if you're looking down upon yourself right now. And you're in this place, you're at this place. And you just feel peace, you feel warm, not too hot, you're not too cold. You don't have to squint your eyes, but they're relaxed. Maybe they're closed, slightly open, taking in the scenery of your favorite place. Can you smell a smell in this place? Can you feel maybe a breeze or the sunlight in your face? Maybe you're looking up at the stars. Maybe you're, you're in your room or your favorite yoga studio. Maybe you're on your mat. Maybe you're here. But just, just be peaceful. Just feel calmness from this place that you love. Maybe it's excitement this place brings you. Mm. Nice breathing. Inhaling goodness, love, kindness. Exhaling any last resentment you have against someone from the day or maybe a bad feeling or anxiety. Let that go. Let it all go. Inhaling light, loving kindness. Exhaling anything that does not serve you anymore. Resentment, anger, hatred, annoyance. Hmm. Let yourself sink into your mat. Be present. As much as you can, if you kind of go away, fade off, get sleepy, that's okay. Just try and stay with us in the room. You're still looking down on yourself, noticing your body, which is amazing because it just made it through a yoga class. You felt feelings maybe you've never felt. Maybe you felt a stretch in something you didn't know existed. That's why when I first started doing yoga, I always remember I'd be sore in the weirdest spots because I was using muscles I never used before. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed that because I got, I got into my body. I started to realize how things worked. Hmm. Your mind wanders, it's fine, it's okay. Don't be hard on yourself. Just come back to your breath. Come back to that place that you love so much. The ocean, the beach, the woods, a field, maybe a snowy mountain, you like snow, the desert. Be there now. And notice how you feel there. I know how you feel on your mat. You bring your hands to your heart if you'd like and Heart space, take one hand stacked on top of the other and press into your press into your chest a little bit. Anxiety during the day. Touch is a great way to stand yourself out of it. Some people tap or some people can hold like this, hold your hands together. Just press into your heart. And send out some loving kindness for people, the animals, the earth, the plants, everything. So that's a loving kindness for everyone and some healing if you can. 
If you don't have it in you, just keep it for, keep it for yourself for now. It's not selfish. We must take care of ourselves first and then help others. 